Welcome to the Pondo High School and the city of Mandalay. This school is one of the largest monastery schools in Myanmar. We have a kindergarten, primary school, middle school and a high school. We are about to start at university. Over 6,000 children get free education every day. When they finish high school, they are about 70 years old. I'm Unaeka. I'm the principal of this school. Over 300 children live permanently on the school compound. Not only children from poor families, novices and nuns, but also children from ethnic groups, street children and orphans. I am Jimon, I am head of the staff of the Golden House. In the three buildings, which carry the name, we take care of 200 children. Many of them are often or come from poor families in remote areas. Hello, let me introduce myself. I'm Tutu. I'm already graduated from Distant University and my subject was Chemistry. In the meantime, I'm a volunteer staff member of the Kuran House and head of the Carpentry Workshop at my school. I give tuition to the grade 11 children. It is my dream to run a small restaurant in my village. And my name is Avia Du. I'm graduated from high school last year. Now I attend Distant University. My subject is History. I work in the academy department of our school. I teach English in grade 7. I like to improve my English and my teaching skill. It was very difficult for us to prepare the high school exam. The school books we have to use in the final two years were all written in English. That decision was made by our government and we cannot change that. That means that our English, reading, writing and speaking skills must be good. Unfortunately, most of the children don't pass the exams and have to try over and over. We stay have a long way to go. So that's why we created a program called Bridging. My name is Amanda and I teach the level 3 students in the Bridging program. In Bridging, we improve the school's teachers, remedial teachers and the office staff's English skills. Everyone who passes the high school exams can attend the English program if they wish to. We also teach them skills for life. General knowledge, social science, citizenship and critical thinking are some of the fundamentals of our English lessons. Hello, welcome to our classroom. I am Nemi. I am the manager of the bridging program. I organize all classes and activities. My name is Xie Yu. As the second manager of the program, my focus lies on implementation of the Cambridge method and on teaching methodology. Hi, I'm Isana. I teach the student of level one. In our classes, we read and talk about all kinds of topics. Students have to explore resources, read articles, prepare presentation, participate in discussion, play games, and much more. When they attend the lessons, we expect them to be very active. The 
teacher also gave us a lot of homework, but we like it. Attending the bridging program is a choice of our own, so we are very motivated. The bridging program started in 2013. I was very interested about that. In 2014, the program was adopted by the Dutch NGO Ward Changea. This NGO supports the Gori House and noticed that the program is of great value for the children who finish high school. Many children in the Gori House don't have parents who can support them, but they cannot stay in this home forever. Learning proper English is a wonderful opportunity for a better future. Our country needs young people who can speak English well. They can become teachers, give tuition and courses, work in tourism, run shops, or work for companies. They can also join the pre-college program here at PDL High School. If they get a scholarship, they can then go to university or take other courses abroad. At this moment, 30 young staff from the Board House attend the bridging program. Some of them are also volunteer staff members of the Golden House. Others give tuition to the students of grade 10 and 11. Some already work as teachers in our school and others have duties in the office. Actually, I am attending level 3 of Bridget because I like to improve my skills. And my name is Nico Schoenmakers. I am the secretary of the NGO World Child Care. We adopted the bridging program because it is a wonderful chance for the graduated youngsters of the Golden House to improve their lives. But also for many other young adults who work at the Pangau High School or elsewhere. We upgraded the classroom. It has become a professional teaching room with modern facilities. We bought furniture, laptops, a copier and a beamer. The room has a dedicated internet line, Wi-Fi and air conditioning. The project coordinator, the bridging teachers and I have now finished creating the first three levels of our curriculum. We're planning on doing another two. For the language lesson, we use the Cambridge method. Each level takes an exam. Everybody who passes gets a Cambridge certificate. It takes six months to complete one level, and the students daily attend classes for one and a half hours. Self study takes up to two hours per day. We have also created general classes for students who are currently on our waiting list. Bridging has become much more than just following English lessons. The 150 students who are involved yet became some kind of community. We go to class together, we study together. We organize activities, we have excursions. We do some fundraising by ourselves. We organize speed talk evening with interesting speakers. We go out for dinner and we have fun together. And of course, we meet each other on Facebook and other platforms. To upgrade the bridging program into a professional trainer trainer program, our NGO is financially supported by a number of organizations in Holland. In the future, we hope to find more donors. We need more laptops for self-study, a budget for excursions and for B-talks. We also hope to find foreign teachers who are interested to teach in level 4 and level 5 for 3 or 6 months. This could also be a minor for trainees. They can help the local bridging teachers with developing more curriculum. 
At this moment, our local teachers get their salary from other departments. It is a big desire to have dedicated teachers on the payroll of the bridging program. I'm very proud of what we achieved yet. So many young adults in our school already can speak English quite well. A few years ago, I never thought that my children would be the volunteer staff member, give tuition to the high school student or work as a teacher themselves. During the summer holidays, the PDO High School is a huge train-the-trainer center for teachers from the surrounding towns and villages. It is wonderful that we're able to share our knowledge and teaching experiences with them. At the most proud are we, the students. We can talk with every foreigner now. And we get wonderful opportunity for the future. The, the wall lies at our feet. feet. Thank you very much for your attention and support.